You're watching Coin News 6 at 11 p.m. with Jeff Gianola and Kelly Day. Coin News 6. News that's to the point. Well, some call it a work of art, while others see it as a traffic calming device. One neighborhood in the Irvington area of Northeast Portland has come up with an eye-opening way to slow down speeders. Coin News 6 reporter Jolie Winaga shows us their different approach to reducing the speeding problem. Me my Meet four-year-old Yona. Boop, boop. He can spell his name, well, sort of. I know A. He's proud of his sign. N. And so is his dad. Three quarter inch plywood. Julian Voss Andre. I had the idea to, to make, to cut out the shape of my son Yona and make several signs holding up the names of all the kids here on this block. Her husband helped a lot cutting out. So this German artist gathered his neighbors and they made cutout after cutout. Nearly all the children on the block. Twelve altogether. The goal to get drivers to slow down. And the posted speed limit here, 25 miles per hour. The neighbors say it isn't uncommon for drivers to go twice that speed. It's pretty bad, I, especially in the summertime, I think. There's uh, just a lot of people cruising through here really fast. So Boss Andre initiated what many on this block call a useful art project for a child-friendly neighborhood. I think it's important to let the drivers know that there are children that live here and by putting a name and almost a face. A life-size silhouette made of plywood, alerting drivers that nearly a dozen children live on this block. People are driving really fast here in this neighborhood and we just didn't know what to do anymore because it's really you can't let, let the kids play out here by themselves. These signs have been up since Sunday. Neighbors say so far they appear to be working. In Northeast Portland, Joel Iwanaga, Coin News 6. Now, some of the neighbors expressed concern they didn't want their children's names printed for safety reasons, but most of them were very enthusiastic about the idea.